Welcome back. This is the third video in our Mastering the Swish series. So if this is your first encounter with the series, I highly recommend that you go back and start the series over at the first video. Because what we're going deep into here is the swish pattern, which is probably the most powerful pattern in coaching for creating really powerful changes. Changes to your habits, to your behaviors, to your emotions. So if you wanna feel less stressed out or more confident or more motivated or even more happy, happier. You can do that with the swish pattern. You can even change your self image. This is an incredibly powerful pattern and it's one that you should learn because it's also easy to do. And so I highly recommend that you go back and watch the first video in the series and of course, like, comment, subscribe for more life-changing content like this. Now, in the original two videos, the first two rather, we went over how the swish pattern works, that it uses Hebb's law or the law of uh, neuroscience, that neurons that fire together wire together to associate your present state and then go from your present state to your desired state, that which you want, clearly. Uh, and then in the second video, we went over how to identify uh, your current state, your present state, your limiting state in a way that allows you to actually change it. In this video, we're going to be going over how to design your desired state. So now that you know what the problem state is, what the context of that are, and you have that trigger image ready to go, now it's time to create your desired state in your desired image. So couple of keys here with the desired state. In order to do this effectively, you're going to be imagining yourself as if you've already overcome that problem. So I want, your, I want you to simply ask yourself, what will it be like once I've overcome this challenge? How will I know when I've overcome that problem? How will I be different as a person when I've overcome that challenge? And once you've got the answer to that, you might want to write this down, spend some time journaling on it to really give yourself permission to allow yourself to dream up who you want to be with regards to overcoming that challenge. Because the more compelling, you can make this desired state, the more effective this is gonna be. In the first video, we talked about how intensity of emotion is one of the most important keys to you doing this effectively. So when you think about your desired state, when you think about who you're gonna be after you've overcome that problem, this is gonna be most effective for you if you create a self image that's really compelling. So if you're going from being a, a smoker to a non-smoker, how can you imagine yourself as a non-smoker in such a way that you feel motivated, that just by seeing yourself that way, imagining yourself that way, you feel drawn to it. And this is part of the skill of being a coach is helping your clients find for themselves a self image that is so enticing, so captivating that they're drawn to it more then they're pulled towards their problems, then their limitations, etc. So once you've overcome that problem, who will you be that's so compelling to you that you feel incredible just by imagining that new self-image? And then I want you to bring it down to sensory information again. So how will you know by looking at that image of yourself that you've overcome that problem? Imagine that we're here on the day that you recognize you've solved this problem and you're looking in the mirror, what is it that lets you know about that image as you see yourself in that image that you've overcome that problem? Is it a way you're standing? Maybe you're breathing differently. Maybe there's a smile or a smirk or a glint in your eyes. Maybe uh, there's a new watch on your wrist that allows you to recognize you're more successful or maybe a new suit. What is it about this image that allows you to know you've overcome that problem? And once you have that image in such a way where just imagining this feels good, 
You see, you'll know you're done with this step of creating the desired image when just by picturing yourself that way makes you feel incredible. And so what I want you to do now is I want you to notice how can you play with that image in such a way where it allows you to take those good feelings that you're experiencing and then to magnify them more. So in the same way that you can take your iPhone or your smartphone and you can zoom in on an image, right? Or zoom out on it. I want you to imagine you can zoom in on this desired image, on the part that makes you feel the best or make it bigger and brighter. Alter that image in such a way, bring it closer to you to the point where you really start to feel those good feelings intensely. And you'll know you're doing this correctly when you feel good about that image. So play with it. Really create this self-image in a way where you feel good. And once you can imagine yourself this way and you feel a 10 out of 10 successful about this. Now in, that, in your case, it might be 10 out of 10 happy or 10 out of 10 motivated or 10 out of 10 confident or 10 out of 10 healthy. But once you can in, get a real strong sensation in your body just by looking at that image, you know you're ready to proceed to the next step.